We're at a pivotal moment in technology and history. The emergence of artificial intelligence has the potential to radically change how we live our lives. This new era will bring us closer to our shared dream of creating a better future for all of humanity. It will also bring opportunities and challenges that we cannot yet foresee. Now is our opportunity to shape that future. I'm proud to introduce the Stanford Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence. At Stanford High, our vision for the future is led by our commitment to promoting human-centered AI technology and applications. In order to train AI to benefit humanity, the creators of AI need to represent humanity. This requires a true diversity of thoughts across gender, age, ethnicity, and cultural background, as well as a diverse representation from different disciplines, from engineering, robotics, statistics, to philosophy, economics, anthropology, law, and many more. The Institute will harness Stanford's collaborative and interdisciplinary spirit. Across the university, we aim to spark discovery by focusing diverse ways of thinking on common problems. I would like to see Stanford High be viewed as the natural hub for discussions about AI policy, about best practices in AI, about where the technology is going. Stanford High is based on three principles. First is a bet that the future of AI technology is going to be inspired by our understanding of human intelligence. The second is that the technology has to be guided by our understanding of how it is impacting humans and society. And third, AI applications should be designed so that they enhance and augment what humans can do. AI technology, properly deployed, can improve the quality of life of every individual on the planet. Whether we're talking about poverty, disease, climate change, even aging. AI has the potential to transform society at every level, from individual decision-making and education, to workers in the workplace, making better decisions guided by AI, being better trained and prepared as they grow in their careers, to corporations being able to use data more effectively to make better products and services. One of the great things about AI and medicine is we should be able to use it both to identify disparities in healthcare and also raise the standard of care for everybody. I like to think about it as intelligence augmentation rather than simply artificial intelligence. So how can we use AI to make a writer be a better writer, or an artist be a more creative artist, or make a teacher be a more empathetic and understanding teacher? Our goal is to harness the design principles governing the human brain to build much more intelligent, robust, and energy efficient thinking machines. In order to get AI that develops all of the benefits, that so many people believe it can bring to humanity. It has to be developed in tandem with people who study humanities and social sciences so that it can be harnessed to serve the interests of humans rather than deployed to undermine them. Anyone who is developing artificial intelligence, whether in the laboratory or applying it within industry, has to put ethical questions at the forefront of their very work. Technology shapes society, and society shapes technology. It's very important that we get that feedback loop right. As the first generation to bring artificial intelligence to the world at scale, we have a personal responsibility and opportunity to work together and guide this technology towards a better future for humanity.